There's a very prevalent belief that psychiatric drugs work by rectifying an underlying chemical imbalance. And that belief has been around for decades, although it's been heavily promoted over the last 20 years by the pharmaceutical industry. But it really started because doctors, psychiatrists, who were treating people with mental disorders wanted to believe that the drugs they used were real medical drugs that acted on an underlying disease in the same way that antibiotics might cure meningitis. The trouble was there's never been any secure evidence for that idea. There is no evidence that any mental disorder is caused by an underlying chemical imbalance. The evidence that depression, for example, is caused by serotonin abnormalities just doesn't stack up. Some studies show overactivity of serotonin, some studies show underactivity of serotonin, and it's the same with noradrenaline. The research is completely inconsistent, and most experts would now admit that really there is no evidence that depression is associated or due to abnormalities in serotonin or noradrenaline or any brain chemical that we've looked at.